Um, good morning. And uh, sorry, I sound like this because I chose the hottest time of the year to get a cold. So I'm sorry about my voice. But uh, so I'll be talking about mainstream media and the existential crisis that uh, journalism is facing given the number of threats that keep rising and keep attacking it. So uh, first of all, mainstream is coming through uh, in, uh, as uh, having the, the legacy of uh, being the, one of the bastions of democracy. And uh, because of that, it has a storied place in our society. But now that we have uh, all of these different platforms and different places where people are getting information increasingly rising, we're seeing things like appointment viewing uh, declining, where you would access information. It, you get the news at a specific period uh, during the day, or you read the newspaper at a specific time of the day. That is no longer a, a given. We're also seeing anyone who has a, a big enough platform being able to uh, come in and create an audience, monetize that audience, and become the conduit through which people get information. And then we're also seeing algorithms uh, on social media platforms making decisions based on profitability. And uh, as a result, we're seeing the, these decisions not having an editorial basis, and uh, the, the optimize for ad revenue instead of looking at what's actually important for people to consume. So. Now that the, uh, these actions are, are coming up, uh, what does this mean for mainstream? Audiences have to be earned. You can't just assume that the audience you have at the time is going to be there with you uh, for the long haul. And then uh, in addition to that, information is widely available, but then context is often lacking. This is where we see things like misinformation, disinformation. And uh, in addition to that, the algorithms come in and make decisions uh, based on uh, the priorities of social media platforms and not the local reality. So uh, the analogy I'm using to look at this situation is uh, of food, where we have uh, a buffet, like a full uh, variety of meal options that you're going to get from a restaurant, which is what mainstream represents, and then snacking, which is what you get from us, uh, the social media platforms and apps that people are using to get information. So mainstream previously was the full deal. You'd get uh, a lot of uh, the information that you need at a, an appointment, so you're sitting down to consume this information, but then what we're seeing now is the People are increasingly getting the information in form of snacks, in forms of uh, small bites that aren't really sustainable. So as a result, we're seeing a situation where people are snacking, they're not really getting a, a, a full, they're not really getting uh, enough sustenance in terms of information. And uh, because of that, uh, the information you're consuming sometimes ends up being a distraction. And therefore, the question here is, how long can we uh, sustain this type of snacking approach to information consumption? Because if you have a full buffet, it has a centralized structure, which is a newsroom, which has an editor and journalists and the whole structure. But then uh, it also has uh, checks and balances built in, and the type of storytelling that's there is much more in-depth and far-reaching. You can tell a lot of complex stories. But then with social media platforms where people are getting the information increasingly, you just have uh, instant access to information, and it's easy to consume and forget. And then, again, the algorithms that make these decisions about what you'll see end up actually being a distraction because their priorities are not the same as what you'd have in a traditional newsroom. So the question here is how can mainstream kind of adopt this snacking approach? And we're seeing this with uh, uh, news companies increasingly going onto these apps and onto these platforms and essentially cutting up their content to small bite-sized chunks that are easy to consume, that are easy to share. And then this is one thing that mainstream can learn as, an, as a strategy to, uh, to, to survive. Because as we're seeing, people increasingly get the information from individuals that they trust rather than the big newsrooms of the past. So how can these big newsrooms kind of go down to where the, the people are, to where their audiences are, where they're consuming this type of information? So what does this look like? Essentially, we have uh, these platforms that are built for shareability, which means you have to optimize your content to incentivize your audience to be an ally when it's time to share this information. And then looking at the snacking aspect of it as well, trying to add some kind of value to it so you have essentially a healthy snack. So looking at it as more like, like fruit instead of popcorn that you just eat and then it disappears. So how can they turn their content, which is this big uh, buffet which has a lot of options, a lot of food, a lot of content, into something that is easy to share and easy to consume? 
So mainstream media's brave new world looks like a lot of platforms with lots of different actors that they'll have to identify and they'll have to play along with in order to get to stay relevant and remain visible. So hopefully we're going to, uh, even as we start snacking more and more, once in a while we're going to get a proper meal in terms of information you consume. And that's my time. Thank you.